Hello everyone and welcome to Shelton Coast Farms here in Stardew Valley. My name is Melanie V. It is Saturday the 13th of summer in year number 2. And we are on the island today. Okay, let's see what's in our fridge here. We got a single coffee. Nice. Okay, we can head outside. And it's of course a rainy day. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this pale ale. And we can check and see how many seeds we have. Just seven. Okay. Uh, let's actually sell some more stuff here. We'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of the clay. And the honey too. Might as well sell the cockle. Okay. So, do we have any empty spaces? We'll just make some more. I don't know why I put lighting there. I'll take that up. There is a lot of random lighting going on over here. Oh boy. Okay. So let's plant a few more beans. And we'll also see if there are any more ready right now. Got one there. Anything there? No. Okay. And I'm going really slow for absolutely no reason. We'll speed up a bit. Okay, what else should we take back with us? These ones can all stay here. They're all fine. We'll have to get these chests sorted a bit better. Okay, um, I think I'm going to take some of these dragon tooths with me, and I needed to get some cinder shards in order to do the ostrich incubator, so we'll take that, and I can grab these coconuts from here. Okay, and we have a pineapple seed we can just get planted. Okay, let's use that. Do you have any more seeds? Of course we do. I'll leave this stuff here. I don't really need the grass starter or the torch. Let's take that seed. Okay. And I think I'm gonna plant this banana tree right there. And we'll head back. And it's raining here too. Okay, Robin is still working on that horse stable. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cheese we got in to get upgraded to Iridium those there and we'll leave this vinegar and rice in the fridge now we can put some of this other stuff away oh we got some stuff to plant right here some space for planting but let's store those here leave these here. So let's see about that ostrich incubator. So we just need 50 hardwood. How are we out of hardwood? <laughs> we got 49. <laughs> that figures. Well hardwood we can definitely find. Let's put the coffee in so I wanted to go to Clinton today, but today is also Alex's birthday, so I might as well give him a gift. And it's Saturday, and I still want to try to see if I can get Lexi's trading pose. But let's put some more stuff in here. And 
we'll put the mix seeds in here for us to make some more fiber seeds. Okay, out we go. Maybe we can stop at Pierre's today too. So we'll take this gold axe and the iridium. Yeah, we might as well do some geodes. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one gold cheese. And I don't know why I took this pineapple seeds with me, but we'll sell it. Ooh, the banana pudding gives plus one lock and plus one defense. Do I want to keep that? Maybe. Okay, let's go take care of the animals. Okay, animals are doing fine. I gave the sturgeon pond three omni geodes. But the blobfish, they still want some tea. They're tea drinkers. Okay, so I need to make something for Alex. So the salmon dinner. We need salmon and amaranth kale. Do we have any salmon? Um, I wouldn't have salmon in here. I wonder if I have a salmon pond. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, no salmon here. I'm gonna check and see if I have one in the the ponds. No. Why didn't I keep some salmon? Okay. Let's see if we can do the complete breakfast instead, which is a lot harder. Complete breakfast. I'm pretty sure I have the recipe for complete breakfast. But which one is it? No idea. Uh, here it is. So I'll need a hash brown and pancakes to make that. One pancake and hash browns. I'll need potatoes. I got potatoes. Okay, we'll put the potatoes in the fridge. Hash brown, and now we can do a complete breakfast. Nice. Okay, is there anything else we need? Uh, I don't need to give to anybody else. In case I see Jacob, I'll take some cranberries since I'm going to eat scarp. And maybe we'll see Elliot. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, let's head into town and go see Clint. Okay, first we'll process these geodes. Okay, well we got one QI bean out of that. Oh, wow. A mahogany seed. How lucky. And some taro tuber seeds. Not very impressive, Clint. Okay, we'll sell this thunder egg and we'll sell the granite as well. Okay, let's upgrade our axe to iridium. That'll be done in a couple of days. Now, we'll go over to... Well, let's go find uh, Alex first before we go over to East Carp. Alex should be at home today. Since it's raining. Oh, cutscene. Melanie B, what's the meaning of all this? Is this some kind of prank? 
Okay, I can say we wanted to show our appreciation. Your wife set this up. Yes, it's a prank. Let's say we wanted to show our appreciation. He opens it up and he sees it's leak. My favorite, just like Mama used to make so many years ago. Hmm, well. Well, that... Hmm. I guess maybe I'm not as forgotten and ignored as I thought. Thanks, son. You made an old man's day. Well, you're welcome, George. And there's Alex, and I was about to eat his birthday present right in front of him. You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. Mmm, I smell a barbecue. In the rain? Okay, let's see where we're at for friendship now. Alex, how could you still be so low? Okay, so we still have like a full heart to go. Okay, we'll get there. Okay, now we can head over to East Scarp. Or should I go buy some seeds? I should probably buy some more seeds from Pierre. Let's see what quest is available. Five carps for Bully. I don't know, Willy. I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, let's buy a bunch of melons. That should be good. Hey, Abigail. I'm actually enjoying myself this summer. It's funny how quickly one's outlook can change. Well, that's good. Okay, let's head over to East Scarb. And we'll say hello to Josephine. I really should start using the theater more often. Okay, into East Scarb we go. Okay, let's go find Lexi. Oh, I didn't bring him a gift. I'm supposed to bring him a gift. We're so close to Max with him. Okay, let's grab those. Maybe we'll see if Rosa has anything for sale today that we can give to Lexi. Hey, Rosa. She's got cookies, maple bar. I wonder if you'd like a maple bar. That's kind of an expensive gift, though. Uh, I'll take the coffee. I wonder where Oliver is. Hmm, there's a lot of forage here. But it's the 13th. I should probably go do some foraging on the beach as well. Let's go see Lexi. Oh, those guys drops mixed seeds. One day I should bring some bombs in here and clear out all the rocks. Because I can definitely use more... More rocks. And it's got some jade. And even more jade up here. Jade is definitely something I can appreciate. Okay, let's use this here. I'll put one there. There we go. Got a few goodies. Uh, we're out of space. What shall we drop? I'll get rid of this. I'd much rather keep... The ruby. And let's get rid of this mahogany seed. Don't need it. Now we'll go find Lexi. I wonder what's in these crates. Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay, Lexi. What? 
why is he not here today? Is it because of training? Oh dear. There's no consistency for Lexi's patterns. I have no idea what his schedule is. Okay. I guess we'll head back. I don't have space to grab that forage. Maybe we should see if Jacob is here. He might be at home right now. Jacob, where are you? Let's go see if he's at his house. And then we can give him this cranberry and that way we don't have to walk around with it anymore. Oh, cutscene. Delilah seemed so calm throughout the surgery. It was only afterwards when we were cleaning up that I realized how shaken she was. And a horse lived, right? Oh yes, he made a full recovery. He never raced again, but he went on to spend his life in the country, giving rise to delighted children like yourself. Anyway, good night, Bufflehead. Time to sleep. So Jacob's just reading Elvie's bedtime story. Good night, Dad. Love you. Love you too. Ah, good evening, Melanie B. I didn't expect to see you at this hour. Is everything all right? That's good. So why are you here? I just dropped by to see how you were. Oh, thanks for your concern. I'm fine, just a bit tired. It's hard running a business and raising a daughter alone. Everything's fine at the moment, but since Del died, well, it's been like a part of me is missing. We were partners, soulmates, in every sense of the word. I tell Eloise stories about Del every night, try to keep her alive in our memory. So Del and Delilah are the same person. <laughs> But Eloise was only a little girl. I watch her growing up and it's as though I'm one half of a whole. What if I'm not enough? Okay, I can see you're more than enough. You're awesome. Hey, it's not like you're in this alone. You're right. You'll never be enough. A girl needs her mother. Have you considered finding another partner? Wow. <laughs> so we're going to say... Uh, you're more than enough. You're awesome. Thanks for your faith. Your support means a lot to me. Honestly, I know you will be fine. That these are just normal solo father fears. Eloise is intelligent and, and forthright enough that I'm sure she'll get wherever she wants to go in life. Thanks for indulging my self-doubt, Melanie B. Now, since you're here, would you like a cup of cocoa? Uh, sure, I would love a cup. Okay, are you actually here though? Uh, no, Jacob. Not there either. This is a really big house. There he is. Thank you, I love it. Ellie gets so reland restless on rainy days, she hates being confined indoors. Between her and Pepper, well, let's just say I'd spend a lot of time mopping. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's head back into town. Okay, let's go up to the mines. I think I want to do a little bit of mining today. Okay, 
Melly V, you're here. We were just about to head down. Mr. Clayton is going to help us. Mine and Uncle Marlin will help against any monsters we see. Not killing them though, just warding them off long enough for us to explore the area. Oh, um, hi Melanie B. Hey Clint. Sorry, I thought it was only going to be me and Zinnia. Okay Melanie B, are you ready? We're going to find what my mom longed to see for her entire life. Alright, let's go. Wow, I've never been this deep before. It's so airy. You're so brave for being able to come down here alone, Melanie B. I could never do that. Okay, we should probably split up and head out. Uncle Marlin, you patrol the cave and keep back any monsters. Clint? Yes? <laughs> Clint, you go explore the left of the cave. Remember what I told you to look for? Oh. Is something wrong, Clint? No, of course not. Great. And you can come with me, Melanie B. We'll explore the other direction. Alright, everyone. Let's move out. Alright, Melanie B, keep a lookout for anything peculiar. And I spot something peculiar right away. Did you find something, Melanie B? This is it. This is the rock in the book. Hey, Melanie B, can I see your pickaxe? Wow, this is heavy. How do you carry this thing around all day? Pretty strong. Here goes nothing. It didn't work. No problem. I think I know what we need to do. Something even my mother couldn't figure out. Clint! Huff, puff. What, what do you need, Zinnia? Here, Melanie B, take your pickaxe back. Clint, can I please borrow your pickaxe? Uh, of course. Thanks. All right, Melanie B, strike on the count of three. Three, two, one. And we open our stairway down. It worked! I can't believe it. It worked! In the book, it said that the haven would reveal itself when strike by souls connected. I think my mother thought that it meant when strike by a specific magical tool. But when I read it, I thought it was describing two people whose souls have grown close, discovering something wonderful together. Melanie B, that was us. You're my closest friend in the valley after all. Well, Melanie B... Let's go down. I can't wait to see what is waiting for us. You coming, Clint? Um, no, you two should probably go. Ala, stay here and make sure everything's safe. Alright, Melanie V, here goes nothing. Okay, so there's a lot of flowers here. It's so beautiful. I can't believe this was waiting hidden away from us for years. Come on, Melanie B. Let's see what's further in. There certainly is a lot of flowers. I wonder if I can pick these. <laughs> it's... A beautiful flower paradise. Why is there a stump there? 
I'm so proud of myself, Melanie B. I'm so proud to have continued my mom's legacy. I'm just so happy. Okay, the stump is for us to sit on. All my life, all I was ever told was that I was too immature to achieve anything meaningful. I heard it so much, I actually started to believe it. I cried, Melanie B. I cried every night when I was in Zuzu. I thought I was worthless, useless. I knew I would never be seen the same as my brother. But then I moved here. I met you and everyone else in this amazing town. I've never felt so much kindness and joy from others ever in my life. I may not have known my mother as well as Gabe or Dad or Marlin, but here in this paradise of flowers, I feel more connected to her than ever. Thank you for everything, Melanie B. You helped me find this. You helped me realize what I want to do with my life. I want to research environments like this. There are surely many more hidden magical sanctuaries in this cave system, and I want to explore them and document them all. I know it will be hard, I know there will be dangers, like my father said. But with you by my side, I think we can accomplish anything. Let's just relax here for a while. Zinnia and I spent a while in a flower paradise talking about our lives. I feel like we've made a new memory that will connect us forever. When we go back, Clint offered to build a ladder down to the haven directly from the mine first floor. You can now visit the flower paradise anytime. Okay, cool. So maybe we can collect those. Let's go down and see. Okay. <laughs> I guess I can't collect. I wonder if I can do fishing here then. Okay, maybe we'll come back and see if we can do some fishing here. Otherwise, I'm not sure what else there is to do here. Okay, so I'm gonna go on down and see how many dust frights I can slay. But I should put some of this stuff away. Because this is a very full backpack I'm carrying. Maybe we'll eat this banana pudding. Okay, I think I'm going to head down to floors 30, no 40. And we'll try to dispatch some dust bars. Okay, well, I slayed a few dust sprites and some slimes, but nothing meaningful. Uh, we'll put some of this stuff back in here. I'll take this deluxe retaining soil. Let's take this and this. We can grab that iron bar. Okay, and I did have this quest for Clint to collect some ores, and I did. So maybe we'll go try delivering that. Let's accept this thousand dollars for the puffer fish to Demetrius. And oh, we still have to do the tropical fishing. <laughs> okay, we'll have to do that tomorrow then. Let's go see if we can deliver the ores to Clint. Okay, maybe he's just heading back from the saloon. There he is. You brought the ores I requested. Great. 
I like to inspect local ores from time to time to keep track of quality and abundance. Let me just take a look at these. Hmm, I see. Thank you. You can keep these ores. They're of decent quality. And here's your payment. Okay. Thanks, Clint. Let's go say hello to Corobus. Hello, Corobus. I don't have a gift for you. On Friday, I say silent as a sign of devotion to Yopa. Oh, it's got spicy eels for 80. Um, yes, I need all of these. Okay, gotta drop something. <laughs> I'll get rid of this winter root. This is the best deal on spicy eel ever. Okay, so I can't really hold a void egg to give to him, but we'll give him another time. Let's head back to the farm. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna make it to bed in time. I don't think so. We're about to pass out on the farm. <gasps> no! Now, Harvey's gonna have an opportunity to bill us for absolutely no reason. Okay, but we earned 10,000 cheese for today. Not too bad. Okay, so today I want to go into the desert to buy some staircases. Hi, Haley. Have any plans for today? Yeah, I was just saying I'm going into the desert to buy some staircases. Let's check the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe. And we've got the recipe for maple bars. Nice. Okay, out we go. I will check the mail. Well, maybe we'll put some stuff away before we actually check the mail. Let's put that in there. Do we have any more geodes? Yeah, we'll put that in there too. Uh, found your face down in the mud during my 3 a.m. sweep. Thanks, Marlin. Better you than Harvey. Got a battery pack here. And we got some acorns, we'll take that. And we got some oak resin. Now I wanted to set up a connection between these two. But I don't have any space right now. So these can be automated together. We'll do that next time. Let's actually go put some stuff away. And I forgot to plant the seeds. Okay. Put that stuff in there. So we should be able to make some more kegs. Let's get our spicy berry in here now. Okay, let's see. Yep, we can make four kegs. We'll do that. Can we make some more preserve jars? We can make three. So I'll need more stone and coal. Okay. And let's check what's going on down here. Not a whole lot. Got five star fruit wines. We'll sell those. So I'll put these new kegs in here. There we go. Okay, so we got seven more. Mix seed so I can probably make some more fiber. Let's do that. Okay, perfect. You could also make a warp totem to Ginger Island now, too. We'll just need to have some ginger in here. I'll go grab some ginger. 
and we probably should grab these battery packs too. I'm gonna take a little speed boost. And maybe we'll do a little spicy eel as well. Double time. Let's grab some ginger. Do we have ginger in here? Yeah, we do. Got lots. I'll leave the ginger in here. And we'll make a warp totem to go to the island. If I had enough Iridium Bars, I could purchase the Warp Totem directly to the desert, but we don't. Okay, so let's grab all our trade. We'll leave one behind. But before we go, we'll go take care of the animals. And we'll get the farm all tidied up. Okay, animals are just fine. Let's sell this product we got. Uh, all the mayo can go. I'll sell the starfruit wine too. And I'll put some stuff for gifting. So I'll leave this for Krovis. And... Duck feathers. Actually, I'll take some duck feathers with me to Ginger Island because I need to give something to Leo. And I haven't done that in a while. Oh, more battery packs. We'll take it. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, we've got a bunch of stuff. All of this stuff to go to the kegs. We'll leave the strawberries down here. And let's place down some more preserved jars. Now we can grab that. I should save some of these preserves to give to Josephine. Okay, out we go. Okay, we'll leave some preserves in the gift chest. And we can sell the rest of it. We'll sell the strawberries. What else should we sell here? That's good. Okay, all of this lovely ancient fruit. We'll get that processing. And what else can we put in here? Coffee. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started on clearing up this farm and then we'll head over to the desert. Okay, so we got some of the chores done, but we had to go all the way up to the mines to get a watering can, but I got some other stuff as well. Okay, Sheila, we gifted her now. And what is our friendship like with her? Okay, so just one and a third left to go. Let's head over to the desert. If you want to make friends with my little baby girl, you can't go wrong with Emerald. Okay. Buy a ticket. Okay. 
Okay. Let's buy some staircases. Okay, got all 34. I will give something to Sandy. I did want to try starting a tree farm over here. But I don't really have what I need. Hey, Sandy. Ooh, I absolutely love getting flowers from the valley. I'm so happy. Hi there, honey. Yep, it's just me alone in this big old shop. Right. Let's get some starfruit seeds. We'll take these over to Ginger Island. Let's get about 60 or 61. Okay, so my tree farm. I'm probably going to start it over on this side. Has a bit of open area here. How much stone do we have? We got 23. <laughs> Okay, um, let's put those pathing down and see how much it actually fits. Yeah, we'll need a lot more. Can't plant anything there. And you can't plant anything there. This is not the best one, actually. Maybe we should have started it over here. Oh, well. I think we should head to Ginger Island. Okay, so I want to find Leo first. Let's see if he's in his treehouse. Oh, there he is. Hey, Leo. This is for you. I love this. I'm going to put it in my nest. When it rains, strange birds with it. I try to speak to them, but they fly away. I guess they don't want to be friends. Okay, let's head back out. I will go see what kind of crops we have ready on the farm. We got 19 more QI beans. Do we have any place to plant that? Oh, yeah, we do. So we'll just plant it in this open area. There's 10 more open space, though. Okay. Let's hold that up, too. I need to sort out the sprinkler setup here a little bit better. It's very wonky. So we'll be able to plant our star fruit. But what else should we plant? Do we have any more pineapple? Uh, no. Okay, let's plant our star fruits in here and we'll just fill up whatever is open and we can water in this spot and Let's go ahead and just plant the extra melon seeds. Why not? They're not doing anything anyway. Got two left over. And we're going super slow again. I'll have to make some more espressos. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the inventory sorted here a bit. And then we'll head back to the main farm. Okay, for that, chests are mostly sorted. 
got a whole bunch more QI fruits now, though. <laughs> so we'll leave those to get processed. And let's do... Let's plant some more of these uh, taro tubers. I think we only have a few. Oh, going so slowly. Uh, seven taro tubers. Might as well get the right shoot as well. Okay, let's head back to the mainland. So I'm gonna make some cappuccino espresso right away. Okay, that's all we can make. We'll take it. Okay, nothing else for in here. We'll drink the espresso. Okay, let's leave the salads in here. And I'll sell some of this other stuff. Sell the mussel. Sell this, 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 this. I'll keep the slime. I'll sell these crystal fruit. The rest can go down into our storage. I'll leave the bat wings here. Stick the ginger there. So I want to go ahead and finish cleaning up on the farm. Maybe I can finish up my uh, tree farm. Do I have any more seeds? We got three maple. <laughs> and I am still in need of some hardwood to make my ostrich incubator. So maybe we'll head out and try to find some more wood down in cinder sap. Well, I forgot we didn't have our axe anymore, but we managed to clear out some weeds and collect some more stone. Let's get some more hats. Another hat from the hat mouse here. We've got the butterfly bow already. Cat ears, tiara, Santa hat, earmuff, tropic clip, and a hunter's cap. Let's get this daisy. And maybe we can get this trucker hat. And the Sue Wester. I don't think I have this. Get it? The official cap. How official is it? The watermelon band. That's super cute. We'll get that. And the blue bonnet. We'll take that too. The polka bow. <laughs> Got that now. And the cowgirl hat. Cow gal. Okay, hat. that's all we can hold for now. And we should head back. But let's have a quick look and see if there's anything forageable. Not that we have any space for it. If it's a sweet pea, we would. Okay, there's some more s stone over here. There's a lot of stone debris, surprisingly, here. Okay, back to the farm. So we'll have to finish up with our... with our little tree farm down here. 
but we'll have to wait until we have our axe back. Okay, do we want to sell anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Let's put our new hat away. Is that all we got for today? Yeah. Okay, it's an early night for bed for us. And we'll call it a night. Wow, pretty good day. 41,314 Gs. Fantastic. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.